The sun had long dipped below the horizon, and the moon's eerie glow cast long, sinister shadows across the desolate parking lot. I stood there, clutching the crumpled piece of paper that had appeared mysteriously on my doorstep earlier that evening. The note was chillingly simple. Come to the abandoned theme park. Midnight. Don't be late. It was a cryptic invitation, and my curiosity got the better of me. I had heard tales of the old theme park that had been closed for decades, stories of accidents, and rumors of supernatural occurrences. Despite the warnings, I found myself unable to resist the eerie allure of the invitation. As the clock in my car ticked closer to midnight, I couldn't help but wonder who had sent the note and why they wanted me here. The park had been closed for so long that even the most daring urban explorers had given up on it, deeming it too dangerous and cursed. But I had never been one to back down from a challenge, and my sense of adventure overpowered my fear. Finally, the time came. I pushed open the rusted gate and stepped into the long-forgotten theme park. Moonlight illuminated the dilapidated ticket booths, the once colorful paint now chipped and faded. The air was thick with an unsettling stillness, broken only by the distant hooting of an owl. My heart raced as I ventured deeper into the park. The pathway was overgrown with twisted vines and weeds, making each step a challenge. The rides loomed ahead, ghostly silhouettes against the night sky. The Ferris wheel, once a towering beacon of joy, now stood as a skeletal reminder of better times. I approached the first ride, the haunted mansion, its facade covered in cobwebs and peeling paint. The ride had been designed to spook visitors with animatronic ghosts and eerie sound effects. But as I neared the entrance, I could have sworn I heard a faint whisper coming from within, beckoning me to enter. My trembling hand pushed open the creaking door, and I stepped inside. The air was cold and musty, and the walls seemed to close in on me. Broken, lifeless animatronics lay strewn about the floor. Then, in the dim light, I saw movement, a shadowy figure in the corner of the room. My heart leaped into my throat as the figure slowly turned to face me. It was a disheveled man, his clothes tattered and stained. His eyes were hollow, devoid of emotion. With a chilling smile, he raised a decaying hand and beckoned me closer. Welcome, he whispered, his voice a raspy, ghostly sound. You answered the invitation. I couldn't move, my body frozen in fear as he approached. And then, in an instant, he lunged at me, his fingers like ice around my throat. I gasped for breath, struggling to break free from his grasp. But he was impossibly strong, his grip unyielding. Just as I thought I would succumb to darkness, the man released me, his laughter echoing through the desolate mansion. I stumbled backward, gasping for air as he retreated into the shadows. What do you want? I managed to croak, my voice trembling. You'll find out soon enough, he replied cryptically before vanishing into the darkness. I stumbled out of the haunted mansion, my heart still pounding from the encounter. The chill in the air seemed to have intensified, and I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being washed. But I couldn't turn back now, I had to uncover the mystery behind this haunting invitation. As I walked deeper into the theme park, I noticed that the rides appeared more decrepit than ever. The roller coaster's tracks were rusted, and the once vibrant carousal had lost its luster, its horses frozen in time. I approached the carousal, its music long silenced. Suddenly, the air around me grew colder, and the carousal began to creak to life. The once still horses started to move, their wooden joints groaning with each step. The organ music, long forgotten, began to play a haunting melody. I watched in horror as the carousal spun faster and faster, the horses rising and falling as if controlled by an unseen hand. The laughter of children echoed in the air, but there was no one else around. It was as though the spirits of the past had returned to relive their joyous memories. One of the horses broke free from its pole, its eyes blazing with an otherworldly light. It galloped towards me, and I barely had time to jump out of the way before it collided with the ground, splintering into pieces. I stumbled back, my mind racing to make sense of the impossible. 
The carousel continued to spin, its music growing louder and more discordant. The remaining horses moved with a sinister purpose, their eyes fixed on me. In a desperate attempt to escape, I ran towards the roller coaster, hoping to find some semblance of safety there. But as I reached the tracks, they began to shift and contour, forming a grotesque, twisting path. The roller coaster's cars, long abandoned and rusted, came to life, hurtling towards me with a deafening roar. I had no choice but to dive out of the way as the cars raced past, missing me by mere inches. The ground trembled beneath me as the roller coaster circled back, each pass bringing it closer to where I stood. The carousel's music grew even louder, drowning out all other sounds. I was trapped, surrounded by the malevolent forces of the theme park. With each passing moment, I could feel the dark energy closing in, threatening to consume me. As I desperately searched for an escape from the relentless onslaught of the haunted rides, I spotted a dilapidated funhouse looming in the distance. Its once colorful exterior had faded to a sickly gray, and the entrance was shrouded in darkness. With no other options, I dashed towards the funhouse, hoping to find refuge from the nightmare that had become the theme park. The wooden floor creaked beneath my feet as I pushed open the creaking door and entered the dimly lit interior. The air inside was thick with a noxious scent, a mixture of mildew and decay. The walls were adorned with cracked and faded mirrors that distorted my reflection, making it appear grotesque and nightmarish. The unsettling feeling of being washed returned as I ventured deeper into the funhouse's labyrinthine corridors. As I turned a corner, I stumbled upon a room filled with animatronic clowns frozen in eerie, lifelike poses. Their painted smiles seemed to mock my fear, and their eyes followed my every move. The room echoed with the distant sound of manic laughter, though there was no one in sight. With each step, the funhouse seemed to come alive, its walls shifting and changing, creating a maze that was impossible to navigate. I tried to retrace my steps, but the corridors twisted and turned, leading me deeper into the heart of the sinister attraction. The laughter of the clowns grew louder, more manic, and I could feel their eyes burning into my soul. Panic clawed at my chest as I realized that I was trapped in a never-ending nightmare. Then, as I rounded another corner, I came face to face with a towering clown, its grotesque grin stretching from ear to ear. Its eyes were empty voids, and its hands reached out to grab me. I stumbled backward, my heart pounding, and fell through a hidden trapdoor in the floor. I landed in a pitch-black chamber, disoriented and terrified. The air was stifling, and I could hear the faint sound of water dripping somewhere nearby. As I fumbled for my flashlight, a low guttural growl echoed through the darkness, sending shivers down my spine. I aimed the beam of light around the chamber and gasped in horror at what I saw. The walls were covered in claw marks, and in the corner of the room, a pair of glowing eyes stared back at me. A grotesque, humanoid creature with twisted limbs and matted hair. With a blood-curdling scream, I scrambled to my feet and bolted from the chamber, leaving the sinister funhouse behind. But the nightmare was far from over and the malevolent forces of the abandoned theme park still pursued me. Breathless and disoriented, I emerged from the nightmarish funhouse and stumbled back onto the eerily silent pathways of the abandoned theme park. The moon hung low in the sky, casting long shadows that seemed to reach out and ensnare me. As I tried to collect my thoughts, I realized that the roller coaster, the same one that had come to life earlier, was once again in motion. Its cars raced along the twisted tracks, but this time, there was no one driving them. The laughter of unseen riders filled the air, an unsettling chorus that sent shivers down my spine. With no other options, I decided to make a run for it, hoping to reach the park's exit and escape this nightmare. I sprinted towards the exit gate, my footsteps echoing in the eerie silence. But as I approached the gate, it slammed shut with a deafening clang, trapping me inside. I turned to see the roller coaster hurtling towards me, its cars now glowing with an eerie otherworldly light. The ground trembled beneath me as it raced closer, its speed defying all logic. 
I had only seconds to make a decision, and with a surge of adrenaline, I leaped onto the tracks and rolled to the side, narrowly avoiding the approaching cars. My heart pounded in my chest as I realized that I was now on the roller coaster itself, clinging to the cold metal tracks as it continued its manic journey through the night. The wind howled in my ears as the coaster climbed to impossible heights, the moonlight revealing a twisted landscape of decay below. I had no control over the ride, and the cars seemed determined to fling me into oblivion. They twisted and turned with a malevolent intent, threatening to send me plummeting to my death at any moment. The laughter of the unseen riders grew louder, mocking my desperation. As the roller coaster reached its highest point, I saw a flicker of movement in the distance. A figure stood at the apex of the track, silhouetted against the moon. It was the same disheveled man from the haunted mansion, his eyes hollow and his grin malevolent. With a horrifying realization, I understood that he was the one orchestrating this nightmare. He had lured me into this twisted realm, and now he reveled in my torment. The roller coaster plunged downward, hurtling towards him, and I had no choice but to brace for impact. I survived the harrowing descent of the roller coaster, my body battered and bruised as I clung to the twisted tracks. The sinister man from the haunted mansion had vanished once more, leaving me to fend for myself in this nightmarish realm. With the roller coaster behind me, I staggered towards the towering Ferris wheel, the last remaining ride in the abandoned theme park. Its skeletal frame bloomed ominously against the moonlit sky, and I couldn't shake the feeling that it held the key to my escape. I approached the control booth, a decrepit structure covered in rust and decay. Inside, I found a series of levers and switches, all coated in a thick layer of dust. With trembling hands, I attempted to operate the controls, hoping to bring the Ferris wheel to a halt and use it as a means to escape. To my surprise, the Ferris wheel groaned to life, its metal structure creaking as it began to turn. I climbed into one of the rickety cars, praying that it would carry me away from this nightmare. But as the wheel ascended, I realized that I was not alone. In the car beside me, a figure sat shrouded in darkness. I could see only the glint of malevolent eyes and a wicked smile. It was the disheveled man once again, and he seemed to revel in my fear. Why are you doing this? I demanded, my voice quivering with a mixture of anger and terror. He laughed, a haunting sound that echoed through the night. I brought you here to witness the true nature of this place, he replied, to show you the darkness that lurks beneath the surface of the world. As the Ferris wheel continued its slow ascent, I looked out over the theme park, now bathed in an eerie ethereal light. The rides moved of their own accord, twisting and turning in unnatural ways. The animatronic figures came to life, their movements jerky and unsettling. I realized that this place was a prison for lost souls, a realm where the nightmares of the past were brought to life. The disheveled man had trapped me here to witness the horrors that had befallen those who had once visited this forsaken theme park. The Ferris wheel reached its zenith, and I could see the full extent of the park's malevolent power. The spirits of those who had perished here wandered the pathways, their faces twisted in anguish. They reached out to me, their spectral hands almost touching mine. With a sense of dread, I understood that I was in danger of becoming one of them, forever trapped in this cursed realm. The disheveled man's laughter filled the air as the Ferris wheel began its descent, hurtling me towards a fate worse than death. As the Ferris wheel carried me downward, I knew that time was running out. The disheveled man had shown me the horrors of the abandoned theme park, and I had to find a way to escape this nightmarish realm before it consumed me completely. I watched as the malevolent spirits of the park drew closer, their ghostly forms reaching out to drag me into their twisted world. Their wails and pleas for release echoed in my ears, and I could feel their cold, ethereal fingers brushing against my skin. With a surge of desperation, I leaped from the ferris wheel, plummeting to the ground below. Pain shot through my body as I hit the cold, hard earth, but I forced myself to my feet and stumbled towards the exit gate. The disheveled man's laughter followed me, a haunting soundtrack to my frantic escape. 
The gate loomed before me, and I reached out, praying that it would open and release me from this nightmare. To my surprise, the gate swung open, as if beckoning me to freedom. I raced through the opening, my heart pounding with a mixture of relief and dread. The moonlight spilled beyond the gate, illuminating a world that was both familiar and foreign. I had emerged from the abandoned theme park, but the horrors I had witnessed still haunted my every step. As I stumbled away from the cursed grounds, I could hear the disheveled man's voice echoing in the distance, a chilling reminder that the nightmare was far from over. I knew that he would never stop pursuing me, that the malevolent forces of the theme park would forever haunt my dreams. In the days that followed, I tried to put the nightmarish experience behind me, convincing myself that it had all been a hallucination or a fever dream. But the memories lingered, the echoes of the haunted rides and the tormented spirits refusing to fade. I couldn't escape the feeling that the disheveled man still watched from the shadows, waiting for the right moment to drag me back into the cursed realm of the abandoned theme park. And so, I remained forever haunted. Forever scared by the night, I entered an abandoned theme park, and the rides came to life.